Hello and welcome to my channel. Okay, so today I'm gonna be sh showing you one of my add-ons which I have made. So it's called Physics Array. So I'm just installing it. Okay, it's on GitHub. I'll put the link in the description. So you you unzip it. You uh, install install. Search for the Python file and click install add-on and then you get this. You enable it and you can save your preferences. Okay, so there are three different parts of this. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you what's a add ground plane. It does exactly what it said. It adds a ground plane. Okay, so it has a plane which has a rigid body to it when it's set to passive and box the collision shape okay so that's the first thing and next thing i'm going to show you is selected mesh array okay so this button if you have a mesh your selected mesh it will array that mesh and it will add a rigid body to it okay so Suppose you have this queue, okay, you can array that, okay. sorry, okay, and if you open the redo panel over here, you can change these things, like this is on the x-axis, y, and z, okay, and this is, uh, this, this name is not exactly correct, but if you have a button name for it, put in the description, okay. This is the distance in between two cubes, okay. So, it changes that. And then, you have an option called randomize rotation. So, if you click that, it gives all your objects a different rotation. I'm planning to add a location thing also. So, and then there is a random seed. So you can just change it if you want it. And then if you play it, it will give you a simulation. Okay, so now let me show you the last one. Okay, Cubery. This was the first iteration of this add-on. So it, what it does is it makes a ground plane for you. It adds an array of cubes. This is only limited to cubes, yeah, because I didn't put the other option for it. But I don't think I'll be adding it because it's already there in this selected mesh array. Okay, so it does basically almost the same thing. Okay, you can X, Y, Z. This size is different because it changes the size of the cubes. And with that, it changes the size of the ground plane. And the in-between distance is what I think I should name the other one. Is the distance in between two objects. Okay. The X offset is the offset of all those in the X axis. Y is in the Y, Z is in the Z. And this body density is you the for all the objects you can just uh, have a density, like it will calculate the mass depending on its volume and density okay these buttons it will if your rigid body is deactivated if it can get deactivated so what it mean, what that means is that once the velocity is like below a certain number it will the rigid body will stop simulating okay that will be that's good for if you have some glitchy things Start deactivated is it start it does not start until uh, another rigid body collides with it. Okay, on flow this is a little glitchy button so don't touch that yet. I will fix it and I'll update you on that. Create flow plane plane basically create this and then there's your flow size. Okay, and so if I you can just you know. It's I like this one better. It's good too. And I forgot to show you one last setting. Okay, so 
you suppose you have like a, mostly when you're doing rigid bodies you need to see what type of collision shape they are yeah because that's important okay so I know that so what you do is with this modify select the mesh array select that and I didn't tell you about this this is your rigid body shape okay it says what is your bounding your collision shape okay so convex hull then you have mesh you have box you have you have many things okay you can check that out but uh, make sure that all are in capital and if there is like a uh, convex hull so you, when there's a space you put a underscore okay so that's it for today check out check it out on github i will be updating it frequently